I am Christina with ID8 TV here with Jiv Chopra, the CEO of Noluma Light Protection. How are you doing this expo, Div? Very good, thank you. Very good, very good. Now, can you tell me a little bit about what you guys have going on here today? Yeah, so we are uh, authority on light protection. Uh, we are a startup company. Uh, we sell certification and services to consumer packaged good companies so that their products are light protected. And so what we do is we measure, certify, assess, and guide packaging design such that uh, you know they're able to deliver the highest levels of light protection to their consumers. And it's important because consumers do not know uh, many times that light protection is important. Yeah. Uh, in many cases, um, exposure to light can actually compromise nutritional value as, as high as uh, you know about 30% of riboflavin, which is an important ingredient in important uh, nutrition in milk, is compromised in the first one hour of retail lighting. Over 16 hours of uh, retail lighting, 50% uh, or more of vitamin A is lost. I, when your associate was telling me this, which got me kind of like intrigued about this all, because I had no idea that light had any kind of impact on food. How did you come about learning that this was had a negative impact? So uh, it's very well known in academia that you know fo <laughs> photo oxidation will uh, will you know degrade food products, mm -hmm. and uh, for photo oxidation you need oxygen and and light. That's the the photo piece. And so, um, you know, we started working on it. We worked on an equipment. We in invented a piece of equipment by means of which we can put a sample of, uh, of packaging material into it. It can be glass, plastic, film, or, or any other packaging material. And we can determine the light blocking efficiency of that packaging material for that particular food system. And that's kind of what you're trying to do in art to help these places. So there's, there are two pieces to the, the whole offering. One is obviously the technology, which we are an authority on. We've got patents in place that help us, and we are evolving technology every day. We started up with milk. Now we're looking at olive oil, and we've got plans to look at other uh, consumer goods. Uh, but then the other piece is the marketing piece, the education of consumers about the issue. It's very important for, for consumers to understand that light protection is important for their, uh, for their uh, nutrition, for taste. Uh, you know, I'm talking about milk right now, so for the, in the dairy market, for instance, uh, there is not much information about this. There's a lot of confusion around it. But in academia, so if you start looking at the literature and people have done research on this the last 30, 40 years, there is uh, a lot of examples where, you know, a Cornell study, for instance, uh, you know, showed that a sensory panel had uh, an overwhelming preference for light protected uh, PET containers, uh, you know, milk and PET containers versus uh, you know, bottles that were exposed to light, retail light. You know, we did uh, most of our work with Virginia Tech, um, and we did a sensory panel study there to, to understand four different levels of light protection for milk, and uh, sensory panel came back and said basically uh, exactly what our equipment was telling us. That's incredible. So now, what are you looking to get out of the expo here? Because something like this, how do you find the people? How do you grow yeah, as a so, company? Um, you know, what we're looking for are, are partners who are willing to certify and to bring the advantage to the consumers. And so a lot of the consumer good companies, they want to be differentiated. They want to do the right thing, but because of lack of technology, they're unable to, you know, get light protection into their, their you know, their packaging materials. And we help them, uh, you know, with the technology piece, but then also we help them uh, by certifying their product and at the same time educating consumers about the benefits of light protection because consumers are looking for uh, you know third party certification and so in this whole uh, you know program consumers uh, will generate uh, they'll have they'll develop a preference for noluma certified uh, dairy packaging olive oil packaging beer packaging and so on it's fascinating. Now, uh, just to ask you more personally about yourself, now, how did you come about becoming the CEO of this company? Well, so uh, I got a lot of passion and energy for this, yeah, right? So, it. you know, so that's <laughs> one piece. Uh, but, but also, I've been involved with the research for, for, for a long time. You know, uh, so the, the roots of the company go back into DuPont. So, uh, you know, I worked for DuPont for 20 plus years. And uh, you know, we were working on this project. We were inventing this equipment. Uh, my background is packaging. Uh, uh, you know, for DuPont, uh, and we came up with this idea about protection of, uh, you know, of 
consumer items from light. That was a big deal. Uh, in you know, as I said, in academics, it's a it's a very well known fact. It's very you know. People are working on it every day, and so we invented this piece of equipment. And then, you know, we start thinking about who really benefits out of this technology, and it was consumers, mm -hmm. totally. right? And so, you know, it was very important for us to, uh, you know, put together a business case that we go directly to the consumers, which we did. And it's also very important to have a, certific a certification company. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you know, when we put the the whole business model together, uh, we opened a new legal entity, and uh, that's Noluma. And so I guess uh, they, they saw the passion that I had for the company and the concept and said, okay, go ahead and lead it. Yeah, that's <laughs> incredible. It that very, very impressive. So just uh, to my final question is, you know, it's a lot of people's goal to eventually become the CEO of a company, which, you know, a lot of people don't know how they, they kind of like make that happen. What advice would you give to people that are kind of aspiring to be sure. where you are today? So uh, my advice is the same as uh, as Edison, which is 1% uh, inspiration and 99% perspiration. It's all uh, it's all about hard work, and it's all about well. So you have an idea, but how long can you hold on to the idea and and work hard towards that? That's very important. So don't let it go. You know. Yeah. I love that. Thank you so much, Div. I really appreciate your time.